The number that I think about all the time is the number two. It's a small number, but a very big problem. My name is Rachel Kite. I work at the World Bank Group, where I'm the Vice President and Special Envoy for Climate Change. For the last few years, the international community, that's all of us, have been trying to find an agreement that would mean that the amount of emissions of greenhouse gases would not uh, push the world above a two degrees warming. Well, two degrees warming, what does that mean? Actually, two degrees warming itself is quite dangerous. At two degrees, it means that we are going to have problems to find enough food of nutritious quality to feed us all. At two degrees, we're going to see monsoons start to change and rainfall patterns change as well. We're going to have 20% less water in the world that we can use for power, that we can use for agriculture, that we can use for drinking. At two degrees, we are really worried that we're going to lose 40% of the agricultural productivity from the sub-Saharan African lands, which we could expect in normal circumstances to produce the food we need. That means the wheat, the maize, corn that you and I eat might not be there for much longer. So number two is the two degree warming that we really need to arrive at. We need to slow the warming so that we don't go above two degrees. I grew up in the late 60s and early 70s in the United Kingdom. I grew up in a, in a, a warm family with not many means. And uh, we were efficient in the way we used food and we grew a lot of our own food. You made it yourself. Most of my clothes were knitted <laughs> by my grandmother. Um, and you were careful. So when I was in my 20s, uh, the conversation in Europe where I grew up and I became politically active was how could we build a peaceable Europe? How could we bring an iron curtain down? because if pollution went up in the east, it landed in the west, it was acid rain. We were all breathing the same air. And it was impossible to think about development or peace without thinking about the environment. If we don't grapple with climate change, not only will we not be able to move everybody out of absolute poverty, but many of the 660 million people who've moved out of poverty in the last 20 years are at risk of falling back in. In almost every spiritual tradition in the world, whether from the East or from the West, there is a concept of stewarding the earth and there is a concept of not uh, wasting and, and being careful with that which is precious to us. That has to give me faith and confidence that we know what's right. So two is a small number and a big problem, but it's a big part of the solution too. You hear everybody talking about a G8 or a G20. There's a G2. It's China and the United States of America. With political will and leadership in both of those countries, it is possible to reach an international agreement. It's difficult to get there, but the good news is that we actually know how to do it. We, we have most of the technology. We have most of the practices. We know what the policy needs to be. We even know where the finance could come from, but we need political will. The number two is a powerful number, um, even more powerful for me because I have two children. But the most powerful part of number two is it's about us. The number two is about me and you.